Okay, I just had to make a, a update to the tutorial I just did on switch layers and uh, smartphones. Uh, Victor Perez, he, uh, if you don't know who he is, he is a professional animator and he's also worked with Smith Micro to create some um, tutorials and he's done webinars for them and he is the anime studio guru. Uh, he knows everything about the program. So if you don't know who he is and you're using Anime Studio Pro, uh, look him up and watch his stuff because it's amazing. And he just kind of blew my mind here real quick. Um, one of the problems with do doing smart bones and switch layers is that when you create them and uh, create one keyframe to another, because it's being controlled by a bone, it tries to do the every in-between frame. Um, well, I'll show you here. So I'm going to go in into my uh, face layer, which is has a separate rig all by itself, and that has my mouths in it. And I'm just going to start and create a bone. I'm going to hit B and call it mouth positions. And I'll go ahead and uh, label it and uh, make it yellow just so you can see what's going on. Go ahead and turn the uh, strength down because we don't need the strength at all. And let's also, I'm just going to go ahead and select mouth positions and copy it. Command uh, C because I'm going to use it for smart bone action. And I'll go to actions, smart bones, create a new smart bone, and then just paste. Command V. So it's now it's named the exact same thing as the bone. I'll hit OK. And in my mouths folder, you can see I have 14 mouths right now uh, for my character. So Victor sh told me this, and this is so much easier just to uh, create um, a smart bone for your switch layers. So I'm just going to go to frame 14 because that's how many mouths I have. And let's go right there, 14. And I'll go ahead and hit T, and I'm just going to rotate it all the way down because I'm just going to have the mouth positions be from uh, pointing up to all the way down. Um, you could go all the way around in a circle if you wanted to, but for this, I'm just going to show you from up to down position. So as, as you can see, when I scroll from uh, left to right, that the bone just turns. So I don't have to make keyframes for every bone position. I can just hit the right arrow key. I'm on frame one now. Then I'll right click on my mouth's uh, folder. I'll select my very first mouth, which is closed. And then all I have to do is uh, click on the right arrow on my keyboard again. You can see the bone moves right there. And I'll select my second mouth, cons. And then I'll do right arrow, next mouth, right arrow, next mouth, right arrow, next mouth, right arrow, next mouth. So you can see this is way <laughs> way, way, way easier to set up. And I'm just going to go through all of these. And scream and closed smile. So now I have a keyframe and a bone position for the entire, uh, all every one of my mouths. All I have to do is go back in the, to the main timeline. And it's ready to go. Um, go on the timeline here, select the uh, face, and you can see actually all of my mouths are now contained within the smart bone, which is amazing. And it's so fast and easy to set up. But the problem with that is, and this is what Victor pointed out to me. So say I have a mouth here and I'm doing the uh sound right like that. And then I want it to use um, the smile. So in between, see it's trying to animate every single one of those keyframes in between it. So to fix that, all you have to do is go to frame one. I'm just going to click on the bone so it creates a keyframe. And I'm just going to right click on it and select step. So what that does is it's going to, oh, also right here, you need, it's usually set to smooth and that's just the way that, um, your animation is interpolated between frames. So if you have smooth on, it's just going to smoothly move from one to the other. So if I have a, uh, like, let's go into the character. If I, whoops, if I go to frame one 
and move his arm, or I'll start off with his arm at that position and go to 18 and uh, move his arm up. There's a smooth transition from uh, frame 1 to 18. Okay? So that's just the way that this is set. But we're going to go back into the face layer and with the uh, smart bone selected and we'll just select step. Now we're going to change this to copy previous key. So what that does is if I go into the mouths and I select a mouth and then I go to the next frame and then change it to L, the L sound you can see it doesn't uh, try and do the in-between frames. It just goes from A ah to L, which is what we want. We just want to show the mouse that we want. Now the reason why this is so amazing is um, to me is that it's going to save me hours and hours of time. So now that we have, I'll go to the first keyframe and like clear the animation off of the body. So if I go to the mouth uh, I'm sorry, the face, and start a keyframe and select step and copy previous frame. Now all I have to do to lip sync is import an audio file. Let me go to frame zero. And I got this from The Simpsons. Um, Homer saying, <laughs> my baloney has a first name. It's H-O-M-E-R. My baloney has a second name. It's H-O-M-E-R. And so now all I have to do to um, lip sync is scrub through the timeline. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my left hand on the arrow keys so I can go back and forth. And then, then all I have to do is come up here. Let me hit T so I have it so I can change it. So with my left hand on the arrows, I'm going to listen to the sounds. Okay, his mouth starts off with it closed, then I go to my, so I'm just gonna grab it and change it to ah, and then my goes to kind of an E sound, so I'm just gonna drag it back, and then baloney's is gonna be closed, so B, and then there's an L, so I'm just gonna find the L, O, and then N is a, a consonant, so I just put it there, E, has, so this makes it so easy and so fast to lip sync, I think. My, has a first name, so I'll go find an F. Her name M is closed. It's H O his mouth closes so you can see I mean it's extremely fast to uh, lip sync and I'll do this second part real quick B sound L Second name, so s a. H O and I 
can just grab the keyframes and move them around. So you can see, at least for me, this is extremely exciting because it makes um, lip syncing really, 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 really easy and super fast. I've never, I'm pretty fast at um, selecting the mouth, uh, mouse from the layers and doing it uh, next to the um, character, but this is just way better. I, I think I could lip sync probably a whole cartoon, I mean a five minute cartoon in a day or within a few hours at least, but they might, that may sound like a long time, but it's it's not really for one person. So uh, let me render this out so you can see. But um, so yeah, I just wanted to follow up on letting you guys know about the interpolation and that's a new, the copy previous um, keys is a new thing in Anime Studio 11. So really check it out. and. Make sure you check out Victor's um, tutorials because um, I love sharing information and I, I love figuring out new things, but he knows so much about the program. So uh, I'd advise you to check out all of his webinars and his tutorials. And again, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just let me know. Thanks. I got so excited I forgot to show you the rendered version of uh, the lip sync I just did, which is uh, really amazing how fast um, you can do this. So check it out. My baloney has a first name, it's a Joe M E R. My baloney has a second name, it's a Joe M E R. So yeah, that's it. Um, again, this is, I think, Oh, well, for me personally, this is, <laughs> I hate saying this phrase, game changer, because oh, it just makes me cringe, but it, I don't know what else to use. It's it's a really amazing thing, and I thank Victor again for sharing it with me uh, on how to use the uh, copy previous frames and uh, with smartphones. Uh, it's going to make uh, animating even easier. So I hope this helps anybody that... Uh, wants to use smart bones for uh, switch layers. And that's it. Thanks.